We're about to do the spring and Easter DIYs. Let's get our butts in gear. <laughs> so first of all, I have this 10 pack of paint stir sticks from, uh, I almost said Hobby Lobby. It's not, it's Lowe's, Lowe's. I got them at Lowe's. They're relatively cheap. Um, I'm going to spread them out here and see how many I need. See what shape they're in. Sometimes you never know, but anyway. I'm going to try that many. Nope, my butt don't look good. So I'm going to put another one and another one. And how's my butt look now? Um, It's too big. Let's take away one. Okay, that looks better. Now I'm going to spread my sticks um, because I guess I want like a picket fence type deal or I don't know what, what you call that where your um, fence has gaps. But anyway, I'm so carefully trying to get these on here. Uh, look at me. Oh, I got straight. So, I'm going to spread them out, trying to get them even. You know, it ain't got to be perfect. It really don't. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, it's too tall. I was telling myself it's too tall. I'm telling myself, I got to cut these off. So, yeah, I'm going to cut them off. This one just happened to be upside down or on the stir, on the, on the, not the stir stick, on the ruler side. So, anyway, I'm jabbering, I know. I'm going to take these sticks and I am going to put them all together okay because I'm gonna cut these all together so I'm gonna put them all together I'm gonna make sure they're straight and I'm gonna take masking tape you can use clamps but clamps get in my way because I am using my miter box not my saw because it's just right above my head the saws over there and I'd actually have to get my butt up to go do it so I'm just going to put tape on both ends so that there's no sliding around here. If I can get this tape off. You know, sometimes this stuff gets on your nerves, you know it? Where, where, where? Right there. So let me put my tape around here. And then I'll grab my miter box. And this miter box has a little lip on the end and it sits on your desk. Um, and my desk is up against the wall, so that's a good thing. Because as hard as I push and pull on this thing... It would, my desk would be across my room. I'm telling you what. So I sawed them off. You didn't have to see me going through all that struggling. It wasn't really a struggle. But you know it, it could have been. Might have been. I don't know. I don't remember. So I'm going to sand all these off. And some of them little crack things. Or groove things. Not crack things. Groove things. Have uh, has uh, splinters in them. See. It's rough. So I'm going to sand all that down. Now I got my gel grip mat. And I'm just going to put my sticks down here. I'm going to make sure I got all of my um, uh, ruler part down. They could be close together. Not that close. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I'm spacing them out. I thought I was fixing to paint it. I'm not fixing to paint it. I'm, I'm uh, trying to get them even so that I can make the fence. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I did this. I, I've been working on these videos like you have like two weeks, but our um, my church is my pastor and my husband, um, which is the youth pastor, are doing a podcast. They're going to start podcasting. So I had to study on podcasting and all that because I don't know nothing about no podcasting. So I had to do all that and um, get that straight because I didn't know because I'm the editor. Imagine. Uh but that's good. But they're talking. I'm not doing voiceovers. Thanks God. I mean, thank God. See, see. So, anyways, I've been busy. I'm sorry I've been absent. I'm. I try to do better, and then I just can't, y'all. I try my best. But anyway, now I'm gonna take this stick, and I want it to hang over just a hair on each side. So a hair. We're working with rabbits, and I said just a hair. Anywho, I took my miter shears that time and just clipped them off. I had to clip them and then flip them and then clip them and then flip them but I'm using wood glue because um hot glue does not work okay listen look what I did you see me I put dot and then skip one dot and skip one well because I used hot glue to try to get this to hurry up when I when I um I painted this okay and when I went to pick it up it was dry I promise I didn't have a glue stick I'm always out of glue stick I'm so dumb but anyway, what I was saying, the glue pops right off. My 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 gate fell apart, and I had to re-glue it with wood glue and clamp it together. But 
Y'all ain't got to see all that. Okay, so I got the bunny butt from the Dollar Tree and a piece of hard felt from Hobby Lobby. You could just use felt or whatever. Um, you can use cardboard if you want to. So I've got to get the stick out. I don't need the stick. It's in my way. So I clip the stick. But it's it's coming out the top of his butt. So I go back down to the bottom of the butt and I pry the hole open. And I got the glue loose and pulled my stick out. And I had a point on it is why I was coming out the top of the booty there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue. And it's always got glue dripping. So I just use my glue drip. And then sealed my hole and my butt shut. This sounds terrible, I know. But anyway, I'm going to take a piece of this leftover cardboard. I don't even know what was on here. To be honest with you, I don't remember. And I'm going to try to draw what looks like, whoa, a rabbit ear. I want a big old ear, y'all. A big old ear. So I'm just going to cut my cardboard ear out here. I'm just using what I got laying there. I'm going to use this cardboard template to draw an ear shape on that right there. I was going to just try to hold it and cut it, but no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, did I? Oh, I did. I thought I drew it on there. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what I'm doing. I forget. I forget what I'm doing from time to time. From time I do it to time I edit. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, look at me go. I'm just putting it down and cutting out another ear. Woo. I'm sorry, y'all. I just, I lose track. I go through so much and do so much, I can't remember. So I got this distressed oxide, and I don't remember what it is. I, I ordered these on Amazon, and I did not like this. This was too light. You'll see later I went in with a different color. But I ordered these on, on Amazon. They're probably linked in my Amazon store, um, if you click my store link. And you could see it right here, but after it sit for a little bit, it kind of like, it faded worse. I don't know. I couldn't see it good enough, so I didn't like it, so I changed it. But anyway... You just want to put pink on it. You can use blush, marker, crayon, whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to cut a slit in my ear. And then I cut it over. You do not have to do this, I don't think. I don't know. I did. And then I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue. Don't get burnt, y'all. And just pinch it over there. Or pull it over there and pinch it. See my pen? Boy, I got my thumb red. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. I think I just... Yeah. I didn't clip it off. Because I didn't have much to glue on, so I left them together and it gave me more to pinch. See? That other got a little hot and just didn't work. But anyways, I'm going to glue these on here. That way it looks like he's, you know, really in there. I didn't want just butt. That's all. Just, I didn't. So I wanted these ears. <laughs> they kind of look like pig's ears a little bit. I don't know. If, they, if pig's ears stuck up, it would, I don't know. You judge, not me. So anyway, there you go. So there my butt's ready. Okay, so I painted this truffle brown with truffle chalk paint. And I'm putting school glue on it. Y'all, I don't even know why I try. This never works for me. And then that square sign or that rectangle sign is a piece of cardboard. It's just a piece of cardboard I cut and painted it with truffle. So this crackle method, you put your glue on. And you let your glue kind of dry, okay? And then you add your other acrylic or chalk paint on there, all right? Now watch this. You, you use a chippy brush and you go one... You try to do one thing. I, I did go over that a little too much. Then you're supposed to hit it with that hair dryer or heat gun. About blew everything off my desk. I don't know. But, like I said, this never, ever, ever, never works for me. Some of them crackled. It actually looked good. Some of them didn't. It was just awful. It was awful. Then I repainted it and had an ooey, gooey, nasty, nasty mess. I'm leaving this in there because, I mean, if, if I'm doing this wrong, y'all tell me. I ended up going to buy Crackle Medium because this made me so mad. But, anyhow... I, I, it didn't crackle. I Look, this is me making a mess. I made a mess, okay? Let me show you what I did. So I washed it all off. I mean, it was a gooey mess, and I washed it all off. This is a tag I made, but I didn't like it. 
this is it the distressed oxide it's darker um one i don't know you just like i said they're in my amazon store and then i lightened my sign up with white chalk paint because it blended in with the the fence okay so i've got these tags and this ranger rick archival ink from uh, i think i got it at hobby lobby the easiest way I've found to do these Dollar Tree stamps is to just leave them on the run, uh, the run, the run, leave them on the line, leave them there, and then you can see them, and then you just push it, that letter, into the ink there. Now, I never get them straight, but that's the beauty of it, because it's, it's DIY, right? So, anyway, if I'd have drew a line, I could have got them on there straight, but I didn't, I didn't care, it's a, it's a sign, it's country, so it don't have to be perfect, um, but I just take one letter at a time, and then I make sure I get the ink off with a paper towel over there, and I'm just going at it, ain't I? I'm just going at it, this is so easy, these are so easy to use, I, I, this is actually maybe the second or third set that I got because I literally cut them apart and tried to store them. And when you cut them apart, you cannot find your letter. It is ridiculous to try to find your letter out of these things when they're separate. So this is the easiest way. I store them in a Ziploc bag and I put them in my tote where my stamps are and this works great for me. Maybe it'll work for you. If you have another idea... Look at that. My S is way down yonder. If that don't look redneck, I don't know. <laughs> it's supposed to say, bunnies eat free. Y'all ain't got to watch me stamp all these. It says, carrot patch, bunnies eat free. So now, of course, I'm going to get my distressed oxide. I think this is walnut. It doesn't matter. Just get one. They're all similar. And I'm going to go around my sign to make it look worn. I guess to blend in with the thing like I didn't want it to I don't know it's not that bad you you can see there is a difference I had to put staples in these because my brain um thought it was going to come apart so I just put little staples in it so I've got these carrots and I got these at Dollar Tree they come more in a pack in this one and I absolutely love that I love that but anyway I'm going to glue my butt down okay and I'm putting a lot of glue on that so I'm just going to glue it right there. And like he's just jumping over there into the fence. Like he's just ramming his head in that fence. I don't. <laughs> you know you know it's decor. You know they can ram their head in the fence. So I'm going to glue my carrots down. I'm putting two on one side and one on the other. And I didn't do anything special with these carrots. I just left them as is. This is just as easy as you can get. This is Excelsior Moss, and I've had it for, oh my goodness, 100 years. And I'm just going to pull pieces off. It's almost gone. I need to get some more. I don't even know where to get it. I haven't seen it lately. I don't know. I don't look for it, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, I'm just going to tuck this under his rear, and I'm going to start gluing just to fill in the bottom there because I I, I don't want it to, to look like a bare fence it was just blah you know you got to add moss some kind of moss to every project if you do country you know decor so yeah so i'm adding my moss and i'm cutting off any anything making sure you don't cut nothing else i'm just cutting some of my danglies off and throwing it in the garbage i ain't even saving these things so i'm going to tear pieces off and i'm going to start filling in the bottom until it just it just it makes me happy Okay, I'm happy, so I'm going to take some thin jute from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to tie a knot. Now, on the other one, I started tying a knot first. <laughs> I tied two knots because I pulled my jute too tight, and my knot got too small, so I had to, I had to, I had to, I had, let me slow down. I had to tie two knots. Now, I'm just going to take a thicker piece of jute and glue it to the back here. This is relatively light. So this is basically all you need. You can put, I wouldn't put a staple in it because it'll go through. Um, but, yeah, you could put a piece of ribbon. Yeah, I'm fixing to put a piece of ribbon over it. I forgot. I never think anything is secure without a piece of ribbon, I'm telling you. I don't know about my brain. R ribbon. R ribbon. Anyway, 
I'm going to put one of these on each side. Now I'm going to put my distressed oxide. I, I think this is... Oh, don't get me to line. I don't know. It's a dark brown. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna put just a little bit on there to make it look like he's a little dirty. You know, he's been digging on his tail. Look at... I'm, boy, I'm glad this thing ain't real. I'd probably get bit. Now I'm going to do the outsides of his ears. Of course I am. You can't get, you can't dig without getting your ears dirty, y'all. Yeah. So, anywho, y'all don't got to do this if you don't want it like that. I got junk on my arm and everything else. So, there you go. So, I'm just going to take my sign and I'm just going to hang it over. Well, I was going to do just one and I got um, my ribbon. My ribbon was in the way and it's hanging down too far. I didn't like it. So, I stretched it over the two. And then I still didn't like it because my tag was in the way. So I just glued that sucker down. I just put a little bit of glue down there and glue it down. And then in the back, I'm going to pull that back behind there. And I'm going to tack that down so it's not getting in the hanging way. Or the way of the hanger. The hanging way. Y'all, I'm having a day. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, me. Now I'm just going to make a little, a little scrappy bow. And I'm going to take this burlap right here. And y'all, I don't know why I did what I did. Because I'm silly. That's why. So I took the I took the wire out, of course. Otherwise, it's going to be stiff. So I cut it in half. And then I cut the edge off. Why'd you take the wire all out if you're going to cut the edge off anyway? I don't know. I don't know why I did it. I don't know. But anyway, I take this one and I'm going to leave it on there. And I'm going to cut it three times just to make it skinnier. Just because I can... And it makes sense in my little brain. So I'm going to take some of this Dollar Tree ribbon, uh, burlap ribbon, and I'm going to cut some pieces off of it. And then I'm going to start stacking these little babies. I'm just going to crisscross them. Okay? Oh, sorry I burped. Excuse me. I'm just going to crisscross them and uh, make sure I find the middle. I leave it X so that I know where the middle is. And I'm just going to shove him on the back because, you know, I don't care. So I'm going to take a piece of twine and I'm going to run it around a couple times. And then I'm going to pull tight. I'm going to pull tight, y'all. Pull tight. And then tie it in about four or five knots because, oh, I only did three. I usually do four or five knots. I must be brave today. And then it wasn't even, so I cut the side off. And then all I'm going to do is, uh, I was trying to fluff it and you can't fluff rags. And then I'm just going to glue it down on the corner right there. Oh my goodness. It is so cute. I love it. Okay, I made a burlap flower. Okay. All I do is just take twine and run it around and run around. I'll, I'm going to put some of these in my Facebook store. Because when I watch TV, I have ADHD really, really bad. And to stay out of my phone, I need to do something with my hands. So I'm making these little flowers to sell. So when I get some made, I'll have them in my... In my on my Facebook page thing, but anyway, you can get flowers at uh, Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. Y'all don't forget that wedding section; they have his and hers on sale. It's awesome. This one is so quick. If you blink, you'll you'll miss it. So I got a butt there, but I don't like it. It don't fit on the side. Now these are the little ones, and I didn't show you. I'll show you later. It come in a package. There's like eight, six, eight, something like that in a package. Be careful when you're tearing their feet off. Because they are felt and they will, they will, they will rip. And this pom pom is one of the snowballs that I got this winter at the Dollar Tree. It's a it's a pretty good size one. It's not the big big one. It's a medium one. Just find one that fits. If you and this truck come from Hobby Lobby and I got it and painted it. It's from their spring section. I painted it a couple years ago. I still got it. I love it. And then I just glue everything back to my ball and not that ball. There was a space in there, so I just throwed another carrot in it. Look at that. That's it, buddy. That's it. That one is one and done right there. Done, done. There is the package. I don't know how many is in there. Oh, eight. Six. I don't know what it said. I can't see. <laughs> so I got these two chunkies. Okay, one is a chunk of wood. That one is from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint one in ballet slipper and one in cloudless apple barrel paint because I just love that color. Pastel is springy. You know what I'm saying? My sister absolutely loves pastels. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm trying to pick a brush. The hardest part of me crafting is trying to pick my paintbrush, y'all. Y'all pray for me. 
I have issues. <laughs> I really have issues. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to paint the dark one with the chalk paint because I want pink on top, blue on bottom. So this worked out good because chalk paint's thicker and it will cover better. So they're, they're painted. That one kind of crackled. I don't know what happened when I dried it. You know, I think because that was one of those Dollar Tree uh, uh, Dollar Tree wood sign things. I forgot to paint my edge there, so I'm going to do it. But anyways, that's one of them Dollar Tree wood block signs, them chunky signs. And I just cut it for another DIY, and I had this piece left over. So it had paper on it, and I used water to get it off, and that glue maybe is what made this crackle. So maybe I need to find out what what glue that the Dollar Tree uses, and then my stuff will crackle. But anyway, I glued that on top of the other one, and I'm going to use these little clamps. I got these at Harbor Freight. No, they do have them at Harbor Freight. I got these off Timu. I'll tell you, the ones at Harbor Freight are more sturdy just saying so i'm going to clamp that together to let my wood glue dry because hot glue on wood does not work y'all so that's dry and i scoot it to the side you see so here i'm going to work on another butt i bought three of these i need another one because i have another diy i want to do and i didn't get it done because i ran out of behind so i'm going to get all this junk off of here and i'm going to pull it stick out but i hated this one because i knew what was up in there and I knew the whole stick had to come out. So I heated it and then just pulled it out. And then that glue was hot. So I just pinched the hole and sealed it right back up. Y'all, that was so easy, wasn't it? Now what I'm going to do is glue this. Oh, his feet were falling off. So I glued his feet back on. Now these I cut out with my X tool. Okay. And I'm going to paint them with my marker or pen from Dollar Tree. Because I don't want the sides painted. Now, you can use stickers. Stickers would work great. If you have a cutting machine, you can cut out uh, letters to put on here in vinyl. You can write them on there. You can find little wood signs at Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree as well. This is just, I wanted it on there. And I cut it out with my X tool. If I have it, might as well use it. I didn't pay that much money for it to sit there. So, well, at least that's what my husband says. So I'm going to caddy this, caddy, caddy, ca uh, I'm putting that down there like that right there. So I'm going to use just a little bit of, uh, what is this? I don't know if this is weld bond or if it is uh, tight bond, but either one. And it's just, I'm putting very little on there because it squishes out. So when it's squished out, I'm going to take a little stiff makeup brush and I'm going to wipe all my glue out. And what you do is you, you while the glue is wet, you take a brush and then you just wipe over it and then wipe it off. I'm wiping it on my hand and it does the glue, takes the glue off. So I'm going to glue my feet back down because they were coming off and I got glue on his butt and I was like, doggone it. So anyway, yeah, I just got a glue spot on his rear end. It's okay. I missed so I'm gonna glue this is chunky and that's awesome because you can put a line of glue here and I'm gonna put it down and push real hard now it's hot hot glue so you have to hold it for a, a minute and then I'm gonna glue his feet down and that'll secure him on there I burnt my finger and had to get another glue stick I'm like I'm forever running out of them stinking glue sticks I need mile long glue sticks. So I saw his butt was coming up, so I put more glue on it, and you really gotta hold this glue down. I mean, you really gotta hold this this butt down. Because it it's hot and it stays hot for a minute, and you gotta hold it till it cools down. Now I got these flowers at um Dollar Tree, and they have sticky backs that are not worth nothing. So I peeled that off. You have to be careful. And it matches perfect. I love it. It'd be cute for a tiered tray. So this one, oh my God. I got this at Hobby Lobby on on sale. They have them on sale once a month, I know. You can get it at Walmart too, but this stuff's expensive. So I'm going to take my chunky yarn 
and I'm just going to put it around here. Now you can use um, those car wash rags from Dollar Tree would work. Whatever you want. I just had this and I thought it was so, I thought it would be so cute. So I thought that I could run this ball in and out and in and out. Y'all, when I was running this ball in and out and in and out, you see how much is coming off the ball? It was terrible. So I had to take it off in pieces and, and glue it down. Now I cut this fence out with my X tool. You can get pieces of fence at the Dollar Tree. That would be really, really cute. In their spring, cut a piece of that black fence and put in here. That would be adorable. But I, once again, had it, so I used it. So I just glued my fence down. And this took a, quite a bit of yarn to go around this thing. I kept squishing it and gluing it and squishing it and gluing it. And Now, if you don't want to do this, don't do this. This made a mess. Okay, it seriously got down in my yarn fibers. And was a mess. I had to take a strong pet lint roller to get all of that moss out of my wreath. It was it was disgusting. I wish I had not done it, but it looks pretty. So I'm just gonna take this wad, and I thought it would be simpler and less messy to just use a wad. I was wrong. I was wrong. It is a mess. So I uh just started adding glue on the fence and down on the yarn because I wanted it to really stick. And then I'm just going to smash my, my moss on there. So I got my moss the way I wanted it and I put a lot on there because it just looks scraggly on the stuff. So I figured I'd just, you know, do it all. So I just glued him down. And then I'm going to pick moss for an eternity. So I got this grass, and I was going to put some of that on there, but it just didn't look right to me when I put it next to it, so I was like, nah. So I got these pink flowers from the Dollar Tree. It says baby's breath, but I have never seen baby's breath so big. But anywho, these are cute for spring, these little pink flowers. So I left the stem on them originally, and that one poked down in there, but when I went to poke any more down in there, it just it wasn't poking very well. Right there, my poking quit, so I cut the stem off. And then just glued them down in there. And I just glued them in spurts sporadically around this mossy area down here. Just to be cute. Okay. And then I was going to uh, just glue my carrots on. And you'll see what i done here in a minute. I don't know how many of these things I put on there. I guess just until my eyes are happy. Yep. And I think that's the last one. Like why did I do them even? I don't even know. I don't know. So I glued this down, and then I thought, I glued two down, maybe. Nope, I didn't. I thought, that was falling out. So I was like, what the world? So when it pulled out, all of my little twine started coming up. So I glued my twine back down. Then I had this little greenery piece from the Dollar Tree. I think I've seen it again this year. But I had this one from last year. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down in the hole where the um, other one came out. It was just attached with wire. And I'm going to poke them down in that hole and hold them till they stick. And then that's my new carrot. That's so much cuter anyway, isn't it? I mean, really? So that one's coming apart. So I'm going to do this to all my little carrots I put in there. And then I glued my carrots down in there. So stinking cute. Look at that mess. Ugly. Blah, 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 blah ugly ugly mess this is a whole different day i got no clothes on um i'm gonna take a piece of that fuzzy and i'm not gonna tie a knot in it nor nothing i'm just gonna glue this down i'm shocked i grabbed that and had a glue stick y'all like seriously try to get in the middle as best you can and then i'm gonna put more glue and i'm gonna poke it down that stuff was hot that's one of those ryobi glue guns i like it I had to fix it, so mine kept not being connected, so I had to fix it. But anywho, I'm looking for a ribbon. And then trying to open this was the death of me, y'all. I had to go off. I got to go off camera. Y'all, that literally about took like 10 minutes. So I'm just going to cut a piece off, and it's going to be cutesy right there. <laughs> and I'm just going to put glue all over it, and I'm going to hold it down. I told y'all I have a problem with ribbon. I think ribbon solves everything, I think. Ribbon, duct tape, I don't know. So anyways, there's my little hanger on there. Oh, sorry, I blurred the camera. So I'm going to set that to the side, get it out of my way. And this is my little, I have to have this to hold my ribbon. I can't hold my ribbon. I'm 
I can't do it. You can make a bow however you want to. You don't even have to have a bow if you don't want to. I finally found the pink ribbon like this green one. I was so excited. I'm starting to like pink. You should be happy, Lisa. You should be happy. I like pink, okay? It's growing on me. It's grown on me. I don't even know. That's about seven inches right there. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. It's about seven inches. I mean, seven in 14 inches. It's seven inches on each side, which makes it 14 inches. <laughs> I'm just going to fold this the way I want to and double it over. And see, there's a piece, there's a piece. And I pinched it in the middle. And I'm just going to put it down in here in my bow helper here. I have a tutorial on how to make this bow helper. If I remember, I'll try to link it in the comments or the video in behind here. I'll link a couple videos at the end of it for you to click and watch that are pretty neat. Uh, but anyways, and then, you know, you don't have to put your tails. I should have cut all my tails and put them in the back, but this just made it layered, and I'm putting one of each. I'm putting one of each because I'm going to do something. Okay? So I'm going to put another tail, but I'm going to make these tails shorter. Just a little bit shorter. Just a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to make my my bow just a little bit smaller not much small no same size same size i'm gonna make these bows same size y'all i'm telling you i just did this a minute ago and i can't remember my brain is terrible so i just fold it in the middle and make a loop and then pinch it that's all i do and i want it about that size right there <laughs> now this one has to be the same size and i didn't want to do all that so I'm going to take the ribbon I just cut. That one's messed up. So I'm going to take the ribbon I just cut, measure it out, and measure one the exact same size. It makes it a whole lot easier when you measure them the exact same size. See that? I folded it in a circle and then pinched it down. Now I'm going to put my other tail. And like I said, it would have looked cute if the, all the tails was in the back. But this is cute too. I like it. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't put it on there. I would have cut it out and you never saw it. You wouldn't even know I did this. Because if I thought it was ugly, I'd have cut it out. I cut everything out. Y'all see y'all see what I like. You don't see what I don't like. Sometimes you see my mistakes, especially when I'm sewing, but that's embarrassing, y'all. Just like to be a big mess up all the time. So I pull that up just a little bit, and I'm going to take the zip tie, and I'm going to go around the front, and see I'm crossing it in between them sticks, okay? And then I'm going to pull it a little bit. That way I can pull it up the stick pole, and... Then I'm going to pinch it tight, pull it real tight, and then clip it off. Don't clip it too short. I was thinking that you clip it short, it's going to come out. I don't know. It might not. And then I am going to fluff my bow. Y'all you know, don't have to fluff this bow because it's not going to be fluffed till I get it on the wreath. I'm going to dovetail all my ends, okay? Just to make it look prettier. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on both sides. This time, I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to fold them together. And then these didn't even line up. So I'm going to fold them the way they line up. And then I'm going to cut them off. The green one was shorter, so I cut it to the green one. Now I'm going to pull all my bow tails down around to the front there and get them off the sides. And then I'm going to pull my pieces while I was pulling them even. And then I didn't like it. So I pulled them uneven. And I'm going to go back and do them uneven. Just because it's cute that way. I don't know. It's cute. I like it. If you don't like it, do it the right way. Don't do what you want. It's yours. I'm doing what I want because it's mine. <laughs> that, that makes life simple. Just do it, do it your way. I'm just here to help you, inspire you, and all that stuff. That one, green one looks like it's sticking way up there, but it's not. It's not really. I'm going to put my pink one way up there in a minute. I thought I was going to put something in the middle, but I just had these other two ribbons, and I ain't going to use them for nothing else, I don't reckon, so I'm just going to Loop them around and make bows and put in the middle. I mean, there's no, there's no, I was going to use thread. It didn't work. I didn't have, th I didn't have thread and needle. I didn't have a needle threaded. I didn't have a knot in it. So I just put a staple in it and then that didn't work. So I pulled the staple out. I am showing you my mistakes, ain't I? Well, I might have told you a minute ago. I don't show you everything I don't like though. But I do show you my mistakes. So I tried to put another staple in, and I don't know what's wrong with this little piddly stapler, but it wouldn't work. So I, I end up taking hot glue, look, run it in the middle, twist it around, get it about the same size as my other one. Then I'm going to run my 
over and cross it and then over across it down in the back and get them even and that's how I make my bow y'all can rewind that and rewind that if you want to if you care and then I'm gonna cut it off and I tried to put a dumb staple in it and it wouldn't stick so I end up gluing them I just glued my layers together took that staple out and glued my layers together I don't know why I showed you all this mess because everybody makes mistakes see I'm making a mistake take your gun be careful and glue down in all those little layers. Just put a little dot of glue. A smidgen. And glue it together. Then we'll take that one and I'm going to overlap it and glue it on top of that one. Then when this all got hot, it fell apart on me. You'll see it. Look, it fell apart. Because I got it all hot. So I'm just going to hold it all down because it's all hot. And it's all glue and it stuck just fine. Right like that right there. Might need a little bit. <laughs> and <laughs> then I'm going to slap that right down in the middle. Yes, I am. Because I didn't want to put no center in it. I didn't know what to put in it. Center. Because I didn't want to say center. I didn't want to. I didn't know what to put in the middle. So I just made this loopy thing. And put it in the middle. And it's cute. Look at it. And I turned it all which way. So it's different too. So all my little loops are different. And I think that's cute. We don't all have to be the same. If everything and everybody was the same. It would be so boring in this life. Some of them just. I don't like myself sometimes. So I sure wouldn't like everybody. That's for sure. So I'm going to put hot glue on here. Now, you got to hold this for a hot minute. No pun intended. When you put this hot glue on there. Because that, that glue has to cool off in that yarn. Because if it doesn't, it's going to peel right back off. So you really, really, really got to hold it. So I started fluffing. And, yeah, it came off. I quit fluffing and had to hold it. I'm like pinching, pinching. You got to be careful. Oh, there I really pulled it off. Look, I, I curl my ribbon down with my fingers like that right there. And then off came the bow. I had to get off camera, put more glue on that thing, and hold that for, it felt like an eternity, y'all. But I got it. Now I am carefully, <laughs> carefully fluffing my, my bow. And there it is. Ta-da. Ain't it cute? And I'm not going to make this butt dirty or nothing because that wreath is really pretty. And here's the final reveal. There's my little truck. This looks cute on tear tray or in, in, just sitting on your table or something. That right there can go in a tear tray. That is adorable. That is just adorable. And then that can hang on your wall or you could tuck that thing down uh behind it and make it a shelf sitter lean it up against the wall on a shelf or your mantle but look at his little dirty booty and then there is my wreath oh it's so cute i love it it's pretty if you like these diys leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment tell me which one's your favorite i'd love to know until next time remember you are a blessing goodbye